I am Dr. Sandeep Jha. I am a liver disease specialist and a liver transplant surgeon and I work as a consultant at Manipal Hospital which is in Dwarka, Delhi, India. Over the years, I have interacted with thousands of patients of chronic liver disease and cirrhosis and have been involved in more than 500 living donor liver transplants. Been involved in more than 500 living donor liver transplants. Over the years, I have also realized that patients and avoid their endoscopy appointments because they do not understand the importance of a timely endoscopy in patients with cirrhosis. So today we'll talk about endoscopy in cirrhosis. Hematemesis or vomiting of blood is a life-threatening complication that happens in these patients with cirrhosis and endoscopy is an opportunity to prevent this life-threatening complication prevent this life-threatening complication from developing. However, it is unfortunate that patients do not see an, an opportunity to prevent this life-threatening complication. So, hematemesis happens due to portal hypertension that I have discussed in my previous videos. Portal hypertension and cirrhosis go hand in hand. And in these patients, there are veins in the veins in the esophagus or the food pipe or the stomach which are very tense and they are loaded with blood and high pressure and these th and these thin walled veins tend to rupture and they lead to bleeding of nearly one to two liters of blood in a short period of time the patient's blood pressure falls down he goes into shock and he might become unconscious and this situation is associated with nearly 20 percent mortality that is one in five patients will succumb to such a condition. Hence, the family becomes panicky. They are they rush the patient to the hospital, which requires an endoscopy suite, a blood bank facility, and also an ICU care to adequately care for such patients. Unfortunately, this is not universally available, and so and timely endoscopy becomes an and timely endoscopy becomes an opportunity where we can lessen the risk of complication from developing. Nearly 40 to 60 percent of all patients of cirrhosis will have these esophageal viruses and nearly 30 percent of the patients will develop these esophageal viruses within three years of diagnosis of cirrhosis and hence they should undergo a timely endoscopy to diagnose and then take care of these esophageal viruses if they are present. Now endoscopy is a very simple and straightforward procedure. It procedure. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. It can be done under sedation or local anesthesia. And if these esophageal viruses are present, then it is an opportunity that we can ban these esophageal viruses so that they do not bleed. It's a simple camera on tip on tip of a tube that is inserted through your mouth and it helps us to examine the esophagus, the stomach and the duodenum. And also if the also if the esophageal viruses are present, then it gives us an opportunity to start you on medications that can also reduce the risk of the esophageal viruses from bleeding and causing a life-threatening complication. And if these esophageal viruses bleed, you need a center where there's endoscopy available, where there's blood bank facilities available, where there's ICU to adequately care for such patients, which is unfortunately not universally available. So do not miss your endoscopy appointments if you have cirrhosis because it can prevent a life-threatening complication in the future and know these details and understand cirrhosis so that you can better you can better get control of your of your disease your condition and get control of your life so if you think there was useful information was useful information in, the, in this video then please like share and subscribe so that more and more people can benefit from this information